Hi, welcome in. May 28th. Let's go to God's word here in the middle of the page. Which God will bring about in his own time. God, the blessed and only ruler, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone is immortal and who lives in unapproachable light, whom no one has seen or can see. To him be honor and might forever. Amen. 1 Timothy 6, verses 15 to 16. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. James 4, verse 8. For in him we live and move and have our being. As some of your own poets have said, we are his offspring. Acts 17, verse 28. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation will commend your works to another. They will tell of your mighty acts. They will speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. And I will meditate on your wonderful works. They will tell of the power of your awesome works. And I will proclaim your great deeds. Psalm 145 verses 3 to 6. Let me anoint you with my presence. I am King of kings and Lord of lords, dwelling in unapproachable light. When you draw near to me, I respond by coming closer to you. As my presence envelops you, you may feel overwhelmed by my power and glory. This is a form of worship, sensing your smallness in comparison to my greatness. Man has tended to make himself the measure of all things. But man's measure is too tiny to comprehend my majestic vastness. That is why most people do not see me at all, even though they live and move and have their being in me. Enjoy the radiant beauty of my presence. Declare my glorious being to the world.